Awesome, great ending. Just what I wanted you to do. Nice little flowy riff at the end. Hey there, Sam Ashers, and welcome to Sam Ash Live. I'm your host, Dave Stutz, and today I have the special privilege of having Ryan from Harkey here to take us through the new Harkey High Drive Series. Ryan, thank you so much for joining me today. No, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it, man. So these amps look incredible. I mean, just from a guy who, you know, just loves gear and stuff. Before I even heard this, just looking at them, they look awesome. Is this a new aesthetic to these amps? Yeah, so the, the previous high drive had the silver grills. Um, the new high drive HDs have the, the black grills, I mean, which is just, you know, just the one cosmetic change. Uh, right. A little bit of a different badge here, but, you know, they, they come in, they sound great. We redid the whole drivers, um, and, you know, it's, they sound awesome. What inspired you guys to do this? Well, this is actually the... This year is the 10th anniversary of when we first released High Drive. Awesome. Um, so, you know, when we started, we were doing the full aluminum uh, speakers. Right. And we found out, we, we mated the aluminum to the, the paper, and this is actually a Kevlar-infused paper on, on these drivers now. Um, and it's just, you know, you get best of both worlds. You get all the, the high end and the attack from the aluminum, and you still get some of that warmth from the paper. And I think it's just one of those things that it makes it a very, very versatile cab, no matter what you're doing. Right. Um, you know, you got guys, on our roster like Victor Wooten and Billy Sheehan and you know John Farrar from Consider the Source that are playing three completely different things but yeah you know this cabinet works for all of them yeah so. you know that's awesome I, I hate to dwell on just a superficial aesthetic look but our, our photographers actually managed to go out to the latest Queen show with Adam Lambert when they were in town which is another artist of Samson and Harkey and these these cones like this under stage lights Man, they just sparkle and pop. They're awesome. I know you saw those photos as well. As yeah, well. They, yeah, were they were incredible, cool. amazing photos. So what, what do we have to look for? Is this every option in the line this that is we're it. looking at? Okay. So we have a, a 210, a 410, a 112, and a 115. I'll get my leg um, away from the 115. They're, they're still coming in around the same weight. So the 210, you're looking at about 36 pounds. You're looking at uh, 63, 58, and about... 36 pounds, 34 pounds there too. Nice. The cool thing about the, the 112 is they're all 8-ohm uh, cabinet except for the 112. The 112 actually has a dual impedance driver, so the nice thing is if you're playing, you know, just by, just with the one cabinet, right. you could switch it over to 4 ohms to get a little bit more out of it, or you could use it in combination with anything else and still get, you know, a full 4 ohm stack. That's great, man. That's very innovative. You know, I, I, I'm a relative bass player, but I would imagine for those people whose bass is their main passion, having that innovative spirit definitely has to do a lot for them, you know, to be able to have a lot if they need it or a little. What are we running out of here? What's up top? So we're going through the TX600. This is, uh, nice. we've had this out for maybe a year, a little bit longer at this point. Um, this is our Class D uh, head with a tube preamp in there. So we're coming in at a, a heavy seven pounds. Nice. Whew. And, uh, <laughs> you know, 600 watts. So you got a little bit of everything. 600 got watts. Active passive inputs, you know, the mute which lights up, you can see it real easy. The compressor, and the cool thing about this is this will actually change color so you can see how much it's clamping down. Mm. Uh, gain knob, which is really more like a preamp on a recording console. You got a bright switch if you need a little bit of extra top end. Bass and treble are fixed. And then he you here you have the classic car key shape knob, shape, uh, shape circuit. Nice. So the cool thing is it really lets you dial in your tone and get something you know very versatile, You know whether you're looking to play. you know rock or Motown or anything Yeah, like I got to say there's like two tones I like the most when it comes to bass. I mean, everyone loves the low end thud if you're if you're walking or doing any sort of just bass groove, but when I slap, I like to have that crisp trebly pop, you know what I mean? So it's not it's almost like I'm I'm using the bass more as a percussive instrument. So I like to have those treble sharp pops and stuff like that. So yeah. that frequency is just awesome having that knob and shape there. And you know, 
Compression is one of those things uh, I think a lot of people shy away from because they see it as, you know, no, but I'm not getting all this nuance out of my signal. But I love compression as an effect on a guitar, on bass, on anything, because it just, it's almost more about feel than it is sound. You can definitely hear the sound of a compressed signal, but it just, it changes the way you feel, the way you play. As a guitar player, I love compression. I think it's really cool. So having it right there on board for you without needing a pedal or anything, right. I think is great. So who's using this guy? Is it good for live setup, recording? Can we record with this one? Yeah, a little bit of everything. Right now we've actually got um, two things going through the feed. We have a little bit of a direct signal mixed in from here, and then most of our sound is actually coming from, from these guys here. From this mic And here. actually right now we, uh, we can go through the different cabs and you can kind of Please hear Please do. Them Let, why don't you go ways. ahead and play one and then you can talk about it a little bit. So which cab are you going to play for yeah, us so first? Right now we're, we'll go through the, the 210. Nice. Take it. So really easy, super lightweight, you know, super lightweight to carry. Um, again, I, this is kind of one of my favorite cabs. I use this a lot when I'm playing upright and things like that. Um, really easy to get into a game. When you're playing an upright bass? Yeah, sounds wow. great for that too. Wow, okay, cool. Yeah, no, I wasn't kidding when I said they're versatile. Nice, but, awesome. You know, very light. You got your, your handle on the, the side. You got your metal corner, so the thing's not going to, you know, it'll take a beating. You can ride it down some stairs if you want to. Not recommended, nice. but if you awesome. want to. Awesome. Okay. Throw some casters on there. Just surf the rails, whatever you got to do. Yeah, this one doesn't have caster inserts. The two bigger cabinets do, the okay. 410 and the 15. Nice. So actually, here now, here's your 410. Yeah. I can hear how this amp and this amp are totally related. They have the same character to it. I can still hear every inch of your bass, everything your bass sounds like. It's just amplifying all the characteristics of your wood, your pickups, your strings. And this one sounds all the same. It's not like it's two vastly different amps, in my opinion. I could be wrong. But I think you just get more of it. You get more of that lush bass tone with the extra speakers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're, you're pushing some more air. So the, the cool thing about the 410 is this is actually will take a true 1,000 watts RMS. Wow. So whatever you want to throw at it, it can handle it. Um, and the cool thing is even the, the 210 and the 115 have a, a capability to handle 500 watts. And then with the HD 112, you're looking at 300 watts. Nice. So they're all, you know, very powerful for what they're, they're meant to do. Um, and again, you know, a lot of people just playing the 410 and the 15 in a stack. You could really throw whatever you want on top of there, and it'll be able to take it and push it out. That's excellent, man. Do you want to run yeah, through the, the 12? I, I love the 112. Every time we snap to this guy, it just gives me the warm and fuzzy feeling. So I'm going to play this guy, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. About the 112 a little bit. So, like I said, this is the the dual impedance driver. So this was right now on four ohms. So we're getting, you know, as much of the uh, the amp as we can. You can switch it to eight ohms to use in conjunction with something else. Again, this is the the lightest one in the series. This one comes in at about 34 uh, pounds, I believe. And the cool thing is it has a um, a tweeter just like all the rest of the cabinets. So you know, it's hiding in the in the corner or up top mm, for these yep, guys. Yep. But it's a one inch high frequency driver. And the cool thing is on the back of each cabinet, you have selectable. You can turn it on, off, or you can have even a, a minus six. So 
DB. So if it's something nice. where you wanted, you know, a lot more brightness or you wanted to take that out, you've got both options. Right now we have it set up so that all of these we're not using the tweeter on. So they're Very all cool. just Excellent, the woofer man. alone. Yeah, I love the little 112. So like if, if all you have is an apartment or something like that, if you're up here in New York like we do and you just have to make the most out of your space, 112 is just perfect. You can probably get away with recording it without, without ruining your neighbor's night too much. You're going to ruin it a little bit, but not a lot. So you'll be okay. So yeah. I love the little 112. It's awesome. Why don't you play it a little bit? Yeah, easy enough to fit in a, in a subway or a cab Absolutely. or anything like that. amount of low end out of them and it's just such an easy cabinet to to bring around or use anywhere you know we're not really sacrificing a low e or a low b you know right. just for for size or anything like that yeah for sure so for those of you just tuning in just want to remind everybody that we're here with ryan from hard keys taking us through the all new redesigned hard key high drive series high drive has been one of my favorite bass amplifiers for years and they've taken it they've redesigned it and made it just even more special i think these are incredible so far we've gone through the 210 the 410 and the 112 we're going to check out the 115 next which i'm very excited about now if you have any questions for us feel free this is sam ash live we're coming at you live right now so feel free to throw any questions in the comments on facebook or on youtube and we'll get them up on the screen so that ryan can answer them for you if you have any other specific questions about the amp as far as you know retail purchasing and everything like that be sure to dial 1-800-472-6274, which is 1-800-4-SAM-ASH. Go to samash.com or head down to your local Sam Ash store. How do you know when we're doing events like this, Sam Ash Live? Check out our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. All right, so if you stay current on our YouTube, that's where you'll always know when we're doing uh, Sam Ash Live. We usually announce it on Facebook and Twitter. Twitter's for news and noteworthy sort of stuff. Facebook is just for all of our fun, awesome things we post. And check out Instagram today. We just uploaded an awesome image that our photographers took of the brand new Gibson 2018s. Don't miss that photo because you're going to want to see it. It's an incredible photo. Ryan, back to the hard keys. So we're at the HD 115. Why don't you, uh, I, need to, I need to redeem myself a little bit. I felt like all my bass licks fell out of my head when I first started playing that one. So let me try again on the 115. Then you play it a little bit, and then we'll talk about it. at the end man <laughs> beautiful thank you so much for playing for us that's a beautiful bass you brought with you today oh, man thank you. that's awesome so the 115 an incredible amp the biggest speaker in the high drive series yep okay so 115 inch speaker we still have the tweeter in there uh 500 watts handling uh at true rms you still have your tweeter option in there right now we're listening to it with the the tweeter off mm -hmm. um you know and this one it's still it's still relatively lightweight for a 15 so it's something that 
you know, bringing upstairs at the late night after a gig or something is not going to be the, the worst thing that you've, you've right. done, kind of like what happens at 2 in the morning. Sure, you can do far worse than these weight-wise, for sure. But, nice, you know, man. They're solid cabinets. The, the real amazing thing is the, the speaker was completely designed uh, from head to toe again. So obviously we still have the anonized aluminum in the center, and then we're going out to our, our Kevlar impregnated paper here. Um, it's actually a curved cone, and that we've actually mm. found that kind of smoothed out some of the high end things like that. Um, just with the the difference in what we're doing in the paper, again with the curve, we're we're actually getting a lot more kind of low end out of it. We're getting kind of a truer bottom than the last cabinets had. Wow. Um, you know, and there's just you know they take a beating. It's really. I tell you, man, it's an amazing time to be alive as a musician to see the technology. I mean, where you're infusing Kevlar into speaker cones now. These things that protect lives in, in bulletproof vests and these things that they made snare drum heads out of for a while, except people started breaking their wrists trying to play on these Kevlar snare drum heads. We're now infusing into these awesome speaker cones. Does that make them more durable, you think? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, with the, with the last high drive series, we really didn't have people call and complain. You know, they've, right. they've been on the road, they've been on tours, they've been everywhere. Sure. Um, but, you know, these, these are solid. You right. really, really don't get to hear anything about them except you know, can I add this to what I already have? Yeah. But yeah, you know, while I have you here, I'd love to ask you some like sort of inside baseball questions. So when it, what, what drives the desire to want to innovate and redesign an amp? Is it requests from the artists? Is it just, look, we've done it. We want to move forward. We want to try and do new things. We think it'd be cooler if you could see through the grills. I mean, where, where does that come from? I mean, it was a little bit of everything. You know, this was, like I said, the, the last high drives were out for 10 years. This is the 10-year anniversary. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I've, it's, we've got to move on. We've got to add to it. We've got to get better. You know, with, with kind of all the products that we're doing, we've really been trying to get better and, you know, have, have still kind of our signature sound, but just do it so that we can make it more versatile, um, more usable, more, more friendly for, for everyone to use and to play. Right. So it's really just, you know, if you're not moving forward, where are you moving? Yeah, absolutely. Are these Larry Hardkey approved? Yeah, Larry <laughs> digs them. Nice, so, man. He's definitely got them in the, the New York store already. That's great. That's incredible. Now, so we have, we've got the four cabs. There are also combos, right? I mean, we have one kind of off camera here. Should I roll it in? Do you want to talk about yeah, it at all? Yeah, we can do that. All right. So how many, uh, how many options are in the combo line? So we, we have a couple different combos, and a lot of them are using the high drive technology. Um, they, they are a different driver the rest of the way, but we actually have the, um, this is actually brand new. You guys don't even have this yet. This should be here next month. This is Can the, we show this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So this is the, the Hydra, the, uh, excuse me, the HD 500. Nice. So it's actually a 500 watt class D head, two 10 inch speakers in there. And then if we can kind of show the top in there. Oh, show the top? Have a, uh, you know, three band EQ. You've got your shape knob, which again is very similar to what we're doing in the TX600. So it's something that you know, through the whole line, you're going to be able to get a similar sound. Nice. Um, you have your aux input, send and return from the power amp, direct out, and a headphone. So you could even still use this, you know, playing alone in your room. The awesome thing about this one is, you know, 500 watts. It screams. It's super loud, and it's uh, only 35 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> as I say, I'm like, yes, yeah, sir. But uh, c compared to, to these guys, I, I was very surprised with how easy this was to pick up. It's a pretty light amp. I mean, to hold a giant bass amp on your lap like this is pretty cool. Yeah, and it's, it's more than loud enough to be played over, you know, over a loud drummer. <laughs> My producer is trying to tell me things that I just can't. What? The top. Show the top of it. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy, focus. We got this. Hang, hang with us, people. We can do this. Hang on, we can do it. All right, it's refocusing. I'm gonna take it back down. And camera's offline. All right, it's leaving right here. So now we will magically cut, there we go. So this is everything that Ryan was telling us that we had. Go through it one more time with us, what we got. Yeah, so you got your input, master volume, shape knob, and the cool thing about this is again, you can turn it in and out. Um, so you can have out kind of your two sounds on tap. Three band EQ, aux input if you want to play along with, with uh, some tunes you have on a phone or something like that. Send and return from the power amp, direct amp. So this is an amp that is loud enough to play out on gigs. Um, you know, just go into the PA and get some extra, extra, you know, oomph if you need it. And then we've got headphones on it too, so you could use it to practice, you know, silently. Yeah, you know what I love about this? Everything that you're saying about it. So, so you, you go out, you get yourself a bass, right? First time bass player. You're like, what amp should I get? And you're like, you know what? I'm going to get the Hartke HD 
500 combo. You know why? Because then, like you said, you, you hook up your phone or whatever you have into your aux input, you throw some headphones on so you're not bugging anyone around you, no neighbors, no parents, no nothing. You sit alone in your room quietly because a bass is not super loud to plunk when no volume's coming out of it. It's a pretty quiet instrument to just sit there and tap on. So you play your favorite tunes, uh, you listen to it through your headphones, you practice, and then when you're ready, when you're like, man, my chops are honed, I'm ready to play and join a band, you have all of this amp to rock with. This is no joke. This is not just some beginner awesome amp. This is an incredible amp to learn on, play with, gig with. So this could be your amp for a long time. I love it. I love this stuff, man. I think the uh, cool thing is we were using this in the office the other day, and I think we were getting toward three, and we were getting dirty looks from people in the other rooms over. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, people are kind of sticking These, their head and being like, what is this? <laughs> our walls are, are a little thin, so when, whenever we rock any loud instruments, people like to come in and poke their heads in. What is all this bass shaking my office walls while I'm on a conference call? I appreciate you doing that. I like <laughs> that. We get to have fun and, and mess with the higher ups. Sorry about that. Um, well, that's great, man. I appreciate you taking us through all this stuff. Uh, you know, is, is there anything else that w we should know about them? I mean, you gave us a lot of great info there. No, that should be the all available one. soon. All available, all available right now. now. The uh, the HD five hundred is available probably next month. You'll see it. Nice. Um, this guy, you, you guys have had. You've been rocking. Again, it's been you know very easy to use and only seven pounds makes it easier to carry. Great. Um, but yeah, any more info you could find it at harkey.com or the lovely folks at Sam Ash will be lovely. That's out. right. All of us over here at Sam Ash Music. So I want to do a couple of things. So I, I want to. I want to tell you where you can find info on this stuff. I want to remind you of show, socials. We're going to talk about events, and then I'm going to have you play us off, okay. and I'm going to dial you through every cab, yeah. and then we'll sign off. So, Dave, no signing off till we get to the last cab. All right? He gave me the thumbs up. No, he didn't, but he knows what I'm talking Start about. It. So, today we were talking about the Harky High Drive series with our good friend Ryan over at Harky. How can you find out more about this? You can dial 1-800-472-6274, which is 1-800-4-SAM-ASH, and talk to any of our awesome folks over in the call center. They would be happy to talk to you. You can go to samash.com, or you can head down to your local SAMASH store. How do you know when we're doing live events? You can check us out on Facebook. We'll always update there the day that we do it. You can go to Instagram. We usually do uh, a little live snippet there when we're going to go live later that day. You can go to Twitter. That's probably the best place to stay up to date with our news and noteworthy kind of stuff. Um, Instagram, we have awesome images that we try to take of all of our cool gear and just really fun stuff. So check out our Instagram page, especially today. We put up an awesome photo of the 2018 Gibsons that just came out today, so be sure to check that out. And we also have events. Some people don't know, but we have in-store events where you can learn how to do free, well, you can learn how to do cool things for free. So we have some events coming up this week uh, for the week of September 1st through the 8th. So just want to let you know about these events real quick. Free drum lesson Saturday, Sam Ash Canoga Park, Saturday, September 2nd, 10 to 10.30 a.m. So go in in the morning, learn how to drum for free. How cool is that? Free keyboard lesson Saturday, Sam Ash Canoga Park, Saturday, September 2nd, 3 to 3.45. So you go in that morning at 10, learn how to play drums, come back at 3 o'clock, learn how to play keyboards, be a one-man band like Jay-Z and get rich and have tons of money. Maybe. I don't know. Free guitar lesson Saturday, Sam Ash Canoga Park. It's getting even better. 4 to 4.45. Go in at 10 for drums, 3 for keyboards, 4 for guitar. Just never leave. Go to Sam Ash at 10, leave when it closes, learn how to play a ton of stuff. Canoga Park is killing it over there in California. Thank you guys for doing this. Free guitar lesson Saturday is also at Sam Ash Ontario Mills. Saturday, September 2nd, 11 to 12. Back to school open house, Sam Ash San Diego. One of our newer stores. Sam Ash San Diego has been up, I think maybe two years now, over there uh, right by our friends at Taylor over in El Cajon. Uh, so go check us out at the uh, San Diego store for back to school open house. Saturday, September 2nd, 12 to 1. A back to school presentation and demonstration of musical instruments and a tour of our music school. Woodwind, brass, strings of percussion and many more instruments will be available for hands-on experience. Allow our team of experts to help guide your student on their musical journey. Private lessons are the perfect way to complement the material being covered in your student's class. Enjoy $40 off of your first month of private music lessons with the rental or purchase of any instrument. Let's go check that out. Sam Ash Canoga Park, back again. How many events do you guys do? Can we have some events? Why are you taking all of our events? I'm just kidding. Canoga Park's killing it. Songwriter Workshop, Tuesday, September 5th, 7 to 8. So on Saturday, you go learn how to play all that stuff, just the technical still skills of how to play guitar, keyboards, drums, 
uh, all that stuff. And then do the songwriting workshop on Tuesday. Learn how to put it all together and write a song and get famous. And then let me interview you on Sam Ash and we'll all just get to know each other. It'll be amazing. What's left? The third annual DJ Scratch Battle. How cool does that sound? What DJ sounds? Scratch, is it local? Where do you think it is? Canoga Park. It's not Canoga Park. It's close. It's close. Right next door to California is Cleveland, Ohio. And that is where DJ Scratch will be Wednesday, September 6th, 7 to 8.30. Come watch Cleveland's best DJs battle. Oh, <laughs> I read the sentence wrong. Let me try again. Come watch Cleveland's best DJs battle it out in what is sure to be one of the best competitions you'll ever see. That's a bold statement. And I want you to hold them to it. Go to Cleveland, check that out. Grand prize winners, uh, no, the grand prize winner will receive a pair of Electro Voice ZLX 12P 12 inch two way powered PA cabinets. That's a pretty sick prize. That's awesome. I would take that. So go do it. I gotta learn how to DJ real quick and try to go beat DJ Scratch. I don't think I have the chops. Pedal shootout, last event. Our last event this week is the Pedal Shootout Effect Pedal Workshop. Back at Sam Ash, San Diego, Thursday, September 7th, 7 to 8.30. Each month, Jeff Baumgart, our guitar department manager, I hope I said it right, Baumgart. That sounds right. You can say my name wrong if it's wrong. Our guitar department manager and local music store legend will take you through the finer points of a style of effect and compare available models. Which fuzz is fizziest, it says. I'm gonna assume they meant fizzy, not fuzzy. So which fuzz is fizziest? It says fizziest. Does that delay sound good after the wah? Exactly how do I get those spaceship noises to leap forth from my amp? To leap forth, it says. Very Shakespearean in this description. Jeff knows and he's going to share his wisdom with you. Each month, we will focus on a single type of pedal and how it can be used to deepen your sonic arsenal. Well said, Jeff. I believe in you, sir. So come down and check out the events. They're really awesome because they're totally free. You come down and you get to hang out with awesome musicians. And I'll tell you what, growing up, sitting in my uh, bedroom playing guitar, you know, I would get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. But once I started hanging out with musicians that were way better than I am, like Ryan, that makes me leap way far forward, way faster. There's just something about being around people that play a little better than you. It, 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 it drives the, com the competitive spirit in you to want to be a little better. And then there's just something in the osmosis, man. You just pick up things by watching and listening, you know, the attitude of how people play, what they do. So it's good to get out to the stores and hang out with people that are all trying to do the same stuff you are. So go to the drum lessons, the guitar lessons, keyboard lessons, songwriter stuff, which pedal goes where, how to use it, what's fuzzy. Go learn all this stuff. It's totally free. All it takes is your time. So come on down and check that out. So that's my favorite thing is being the worst player in the room because I'm learning the most. I know, right? See, you learn nothing when you're the best guy in the room. See, they, they say there's like the law of 33%, right? You want to spend 33% of your time with people that are a little worse than you because it, it drives your confidence and you can teach a little bit. People at your level because then you can hang out and talk and share ideas. And then people above you because that just drives you forward. So you try to build those layers of 33%. But Ryan, thank you so much for taking us through the hard keys. We're going to let you play us out and cycle through all these cabs. But once again, man, thank yeah. you so much for coming Thanks for today. having me. All right, take us out. Thank <laughs> you.